Hello guys and welcome to this new video. Today I'm back in Pet Simulator X. We have a new update here. It's the 7th of January. Today we have the Lucky Dominus Pets, a Rainbow Lucky Blocks, Black Lucky Block event, which is actually coming in less than an hour. Repeat Golden Rainbow button, always keep settings, play a trade rating, trading history, trading improvements, new achievements, bug fixes, in a new world next week. Oh, here we already have the Lucky Blocks. So this is the most basic one, as you can see, the purple one. Then we have the orange one here. Pretty much works as it's just a the last lucky blocks event hey i got lucky nominus that was really easy okay so this is the mythical wait am i auto deleting it oh well why was it on delete well that is weird but uh yeah we're actually in the new auto settings here so what you can do is they made it a little easier for you to see if you are out deleting it or not so first you had two blue colors the darker one was like you were not out deleting it if it was bright then you were out deleting it but now you have delete which is then red and keep is green so it, it makes it a little easier for you to know if you're actually deleting or keeping it and then over here you have always keep which is a new feature here so you can always keep gold pets but then only exclusives but you can also just put it on base for everything. The same with rainbow pets and same with shiny pets. So um, yeah if you want to delete like the normal variants of a pet but not the shiny and the golden ones then you can just keep that that way. Oh we have a new set of lucky dogs. Oh! If the Lucky Dominus, there we go. This is actually still in the first world, so if I go to, for example, Cat World. So it, it, it just seems to be the same, but like maybe the, the rarer Lucky Blocks have a higher chance of spawning in the last world. I don't know if that's the case though, but in general, the ones in, in the later world, they give better diamonds, better currency, you know. So yeah, it's better to farm in the later worlds, but since those worlds are kind of small, there really aren't as many around as, as in the, well, for example, Fantasy and Tech in the spawn world. Oh, I completed the lookbacks one. Wait, oh, there's like a new tier here. Okay, hold on. So you have a new thing here. Oh, enchant one of our pets. There's like a sorcerer supreme. I have this done, so I think I need to enchant like a pet to actually complete this one. Uh, but you have like another tier of batches, basically. Uh, achievements. Yeah, look at the same with a converter. Ooh, an exclusive pet. That's a whole new achievement right there. So yeah, there are some new achievements right here to make it a little more fun, a little more interesting. Although I have to say that the rewards are pretty much nothing for me anymore. Uh, but hey, it's it's cool to go for them. So for the next feature, we're going back to the spawn world because they added a repeat button for the convert thing. So I just tried making a pet rainbow, and if I click on repeat now, it will do the exact same thing. Now, oh no, now I didn't. And click on the repeat button so yeah repeat uh it doesn't do it automatically you just have to have to click but it's a bit easier for you because you don't always have to go back to the same pet because sometimes you scroll up and down and then you lose the pet you uh you were converting now there are some training improvements here and if i go to history you don't have any recent history send some trades first so maybe i could trade this guy i'm going to give this guy a doggy oh come on now no why did you decline dude that you wanted to show how the rating system works but after trading you can rate this trade and then where you can see unrated here you will see the average number that people have given that person for the trade so it makes it easier for you to detect if someone is not really trustworthy or if they generally do a lot of good trades a scammer for example won't have a high rating so it's a little easier to detect scammers that like that i'm in a void right now because there's a small leak that we have for the next update like the next world here i have no idea what this is going to be but it looks really cool yeah guys i think this is pretty much it for this video so if you guys enjoyed then make sure to give this video a like subscribe to your channel and i will hopefully see you guys in the next video